Hello folks, Farm Envoy here, and today we're going to look at all the new bosses dropped today on the 20th of November 2024. And as always, time size is down below, so if you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as I mentioned, I am going to leave time size in the description down below, so feel free to skip ahead to a certain mod you want to look at. But anyways, without further ado, we're looking at the Bucket by Prishcap. It is 0.43 megabits to download, one slot on console, and yeah, simple small bucket. So, first of all, just go lift it up and tip it out. As you see, you can use this to transport good snap in small quantities, such as, you know, feeding animals, pigs, and that, or just transport general bulk goods and that from one place to another, or if you've got a small farm, small operation, then. Yeah, you want to transport things like feed to your chickens and that, then, yeah, a nice little bucket. And yeah, just be careful because that will clip through the map and I have lost one or two buckets already in that. But anyway, so you can find this under your shop tab and then go down to miscellaneous, miscellaneous, 50 quid and whatever euros, dollars you want to use in that. As you can see, it holds 100 euros, weighs 10 kilograms and will hold pretty much everything we've got available in the game, crops, sugar be cut, silage, and all the other good stuff. And one thing I've noticed with some of these bits of equipment and that, the camera ain't fully aligned. Maybe that's because of where models don't have access to the new editor, Giants Editor 10. But anyway, it's a nice little crack and mod, and I'm just going to have a look. So, for example, you know, scoop up your potatoes we got here. And then just dump them out. Good bang. Let's go. So yeah, for something like this, I would personally use it for things like, again, as I mentioned, small farm operations. So, if you've got you know, a handful of chickens in that, you know, you've got a green shed in that with some wheat in there, then you know, just get the bucket, scoop it up, and then, yeah, put it into a trailer to be transported away, or just take it to the pens yourself. But anyways, that is the uh, Bucket by Pushcap. Next. Now for the uh, Lizard CSW Weights. This is by Red Phoenix. 7.76 megabits to download. Slot count is 2. Goes down to, I think, 1 or 2. We'll have a look at that in store now. But yeah, we've got 2 weights. A 150 to 300 kilogram weight. And then a larger 300 to 1500 kilogram weight. So you can find this under miscellaneous, under weights, go down to the bottom, and yeah, so the 300, you got an option for 150 kilograms or 300 kilograms. Decals, yes or no. And then moving along, we've got the slightly large one, so it says 300 kilograms in, in the mod hub description, but as you can see here, we go from 600, 900, 1200, and 1500 kilograms, so not too bad, and I do like how they look like on the pads now, where you put them down. So yeah, what I'm going to do is hop into my tractor here I've got. So yeah, things like weights is used, so... If you're transporting trailers, and you've got a heavy load, so you'll put a heavy weight on the back, lifting the front end up, or if, for example, if you're doing things like subsoiling, cultivating in that, seeding, that could potentially lift the front ends up in the air. So yeah, you need a good way to keep that front end down. And the good thing about these is, once you've used it and purchased it, you can adjust it, so again, adjust it from 600 to 1500 kilograms for the large one here. And then for the small one, you can adjust it to 150 or 300 kilograms respectively. But yeah, so, yeah, didn't see any color options, so what you see is what you get. But anyways, Nice little cracking mod, and that is the Lizard CSW Weights by Red Phoenix. Next. Now for the Irmo Levante, this is by SMI Modern Team. 6.93 megabits of download, 6 slots on console. And what we've got is a 3 meter equipment, but it's not a cultivator, it is a subsoil, so we're not quite there yet with the 3, 3 meter cultivator beam that in FS25. And hopefully we don't see it for some time, to be honest, but anyways. Under subsoilers, cost 8,405 initially, weighs 1.4 tons, 
or it's just 100 horsepower and can do it 3 meters at 6 miles an hour. So, compare that to your basic game net. So, as close as we got in width for that is the Agris M1, and that has a 150 horsepower requirement at 7 miles an hour. So, slightly less horsepower requirement, but also slightly less speed than that. But things like, you know, a small fill in that, then this is all you but anyway, let's go back into here. No customizations apart from at the rear got a without bar design and a with bar design. So a bit of a protector in a way, I think it is. But anyways, without further ado, let's see this in action and attach to a tractor net. So once again, hook it up. An option to unfold and fold the cultivator. So I will drop these sides down. Lower it. Also controls we've got L1, right stick, left to right. So if I go and lift it up. So I'll raise and lower the rear bar there. Drop you down. And off way we go. There we go. Here yeah, fall for a minute there. It's having some issues with prepping this field. Ah, there we go. So if he actually press L1, right stick up. So what I'll do is I will raise that rear bar, drop it down, and there we go. We are subsoiling. And this is a good way, you know, to get rid of that plow requirement. And of course, does this work with the AI net? So let's select that. So where do the game is saying 2.8 meters recommended? So I'm going to say 4, part of the AI, and yeah, I also want to see, you know, does it work with the AI net? Ah, right, so it's doing its thing, whatever, so, yeah, because I think I said it's going to do up and down, first of all, which in real life makes sense to that. So yeah, overall, it is doing it very well indeed. So there we go. Again, just a quick test with the AI net because I know in 22, sometimes you get bits of mods now where it has issues with AI net, but so far 25, not too bad with mods net. Again, we've already had mods net, but this is a first massive drop we've had. But, anyways, that is the Irmo Levante by SMI Modern Team. Next. Now for the Bell Storage, this is by Caster DS Agro Service. Only 0.17 megabytes of download, and what we've got here is a very large capacity Bell Storage. Something we saw in FS22 that's been converted over into FS25. In terms of slot counts, it is one slot each, and we got three different storage facilities, and that's so. We've got a small one that will hold just 150 bells, a medium one that will hold 350 bells, and a large one that will hold a standing 800 bells. So, yeah, you can have no problems with storing bells, but this will not store pallets, so just be aware of that. And, yeah, you'll find this under silos. Go down, and these are extremely cheap. These are two grand for a small one. 2200 for the media one and just two and a half grand for the largest one. So, with something like this, you could potentially think of us getting a bit, a bit creative, you know, put into a shed here. So, something like that. All oh, right, so again, area restricted. So, yeah, I was thinking I've noticed with FS25, you can't do like stacking between buildings now like we had in 22. So, again, that may be a something that gets fixed down the road, but at the moment, I'm not too sure. But anyway, so as we go along, so see there is a solid collision where you've got the hazard mark area for the storage. Output is here, input is the little hazard mark area. So, what I'm going to do is take out some bells. So, Let's say 25 large bells. Or, sorry, these were, I think, the smallest ones, I think. And we got three, six, nine. 
18 bells. Not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, it is for the smallest one. So yeah, I was going to show it with the small one here. And then the next one I'll show off the large one. So there we go. Bells are unloading. And if I should do a slightly better job at adjusting this. There you go. Bells going in. And now I'm going to drop this and grab the large one. What I meant to say was this one was for the round bells. Or the round bells for the large one. Man, I cannot speak tonight, but any tool. One note. Again, just showing off, you know, how these function, and with these, I don't have any issues with them. Yeah, because what I do with my mod reviews and that, I do test these whilst before I press record. Things, you know, figure out any kinks, any bugs, and that. And we are frozen. So, one quick reset later. Yep. Yeah. Again, no idea why that happened, because, yep, yeah, as you can see, it's working fine now. It worked fine whilst I was set, testing it and setting it up. But, yeah, it's just weird how I said, oh, I'm testing every modern now before I review them. Just for that to happen, so... Yeah, once again, it's a bit of a weird now, but overall, nice quality mod now. You sort of see how it works, how it functions. And what I'm going to do is, with the large one, I'm going to take out some bells for you, so... Let's have a look, so... Yeah, take out all the bells. And look at that. No collision with the triggers. Bells are actually coming out where they are, so... A lot better than the base game ones, at least. But, anyways, that is the Bell Storage by Caster DS Agro Service. Also in the mod, highly recommended. And now, on to the next Bell and Pad Storage facility. I say a bell and pad storage facility, but this is the ships and storages by Mod Association Capsule, 8.6 GB download, and what we've got here is a pack of two sheds and two bell and pad storage facilities. So the small one here will accept 500 bells and pallets. The larger one will hold 800, so same as the largest one we just looked at. But anyways, also got some sheds. We'll go over those in a sec. So first of all, you can find these under sheds. Go down to the bottom. Or very near to the bottom. And there we go. 57 half grand and 16 half grand respectively. And as far as I can gather, there is colour option. So we could press R3 and then we'll change, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different colours. So you've got a nice red one, nice dark blue one, and yeah, I nearly said there was no colour options because I completely... Customization option, because in the FS2 you had press like up on the D-pad or whatever. But now just customise and change all that, so that is a nice new feature to see, I didn't notice before. But on to the bell and pad storage one, so we've got a fine side of silos. And there you go. So 57 half grand and 57 half grand respectively. So bang on the money. Once again, different colour options. What I like to see. So what I do now is test this with the square bells, because as you can see, we've got a bit of a low roof there, an overhang roof. So, my thinking is we're going to have some issues with collisions. I want to see how big that trigger area is. So, round bells, I don't see an issue going in. Obviously, no issues for we can see there in my testing. Okay, so, I'm reverse this back up, so something like that. Bit off the trigger, fair enough. So,. I'll just keep on pushing it back, so... Yeah, it's literally just outside the shed, so... The trigger is round about here and that, just outside, so... You can't get away with using this for square bells loading. And can we go in? Yes, we can go in. Clip through the bells. And one thing I have noticed with this is... Card of round bells. So not in this version because I had a game crash 
and a bunch of black bells, black rat bells. And then I move on to pink ones, just getting the dark color variety as you can see here. But for a reason, when I put the pink bells in after the black ones, they all turn black bells, so I'm not too sure on that. But anywho, let's take out some of our bells. And yeah, I just want to see how big the exit area is, so I think that is the limit, so got to say that it is a pretty large area for bells to come out, so overall not too shabby, and this one will also take pallets, so if I go and drop that off, go and grab a bunch of potato pallets I got here. Because, yeah, oh, well, this year I did have a bunch of bells and pallets in here, but again, once I set this up, I had a game crash, so. And I was able to use my mod reviews and that, I don't save the game that. But, anywho, enough about that. So, we'll go over here, unstrap it, and there we go. The pallets are going in. Come on, get your ass in there. Last pallet, there we go. And as you can see, 22 pallets in here, so overall not too bad. I love the fact they didn't have collisions, so technically you can still use this to store equipment if you want. So yeah, let's go and take out our pallets. There you go, ignore the terraforming. Yeah, for a reason I'll well set this up, we've had some issues with terraforming. Also, we do have lights for the shed, so L3, there we go, and now on to these sheds now, again, they are exactly the same as bell and pad storage ones, just without the option for bell and pad storage, so this is what you should use properly to store your equipment, but then again, as I said, you can use these. Because as you can see, you know, don't have too many bells in here. You can come out right and, yeah, no hazard mark area in that. And you can remove these icons by adjusting your game settings and that. So you can use this and still store plenty of equipment in here. Big enough for a combine harvester. But anyway, it's like it's the sheds and storages by Mod Association Katzul. Next. Now for the vehicle shed, this is also by Mod Association Katsu. This is 7.96 megabytes download, 7 slots on console. And what you see is what you get. This is a vehicle shed to store your fire equipment. Essentially, you can now store bells and pads in here if you want, or your root crops. So, as you can see, I've got a large class selection harvester. Yeah, no clipping whatsoever. So you can find this under build modes, under sheds, scroll down to where you got your custom placeables. So this is 51 and a half grand. No color options for as far as I can gather. So yeah, overall, nice little quality mod. And I do love the woodwork in that. If you know me in that, I do love woodwork, I do love brick and mortar buildings, so overall this is a nice quality. I think this was converted over from FS22. I can't recall seeing the shed. But I've got to say, love the texture in that. So it is a very good quality mod. You know, you got your roof trusses and that. So I know a thing or two about those because I used to build those for a living. I did build the roof trusses. But, anyways, nice quality building. And this is the vehicle shed by Mod Association Katsu. Next. Now for the large storage tools, this is by Mod Association Katsu, 13.43 megabytes download, one slot on console, and what we've got here is a nice storage shed, and you can use these stores here. What you need to do is open them via the inside, like in real life, so let's go to the side here. Again, ignore the weird terrain in that, so if we open that, Come on to the inside, so on the right we've got your first door that can open. And just go over here, you can turn your lights on, lights off. So you have to go for a person. There we go. And I've got to say, this is a very large area in that store. 
things like, again, equipment, or, you know, root crops, bells, pallets. If you can think of it, you can perhaps store it in here. And, yeah, just go, there we go. Go over to the last trigger. So, yeah, I've got to say, overall, not too bad. Love the metal roofing work. And without further ado, find some of the build modes. This costs 3.5 grand. And as I mentioned, one slot on console. And <laughs> yeah, I saw this awful. Okay, not too bad. I ain't complaining. And you do have custom color palettes, 13 different colors. So, whites, reds, blues. Oop. Did not mean to do that. There we go. So, yeah, go with a nice olive green. So yeah, nice little building. I think of a main use for this. Actually, I think of use this. Think of a good use of what I got planned on coming up for. Let's play that. But overall, good metal working at. Nice quality. No bugs. No nothing to note. Just a very large shed. And yeah, that is pretty much it. But anyway, that is the large shed by Mod Association Katsu. Next. Now for its small bunker silence, this is by Camelos0397, 7.49 megabytes to download, and slot counts is 5, 4, and 3 slots respectively. So yeah, we've got two larger size, medium size bunker silos, and a small one. The large one, it says it'll hold about 300,000 years, but as you can see, I was able to get about 315,000 years in here so far. And yeah, you can see, cover up the bunker silo. All lovely jubbly, all good. Yeah, a little bit of spillage on the outside, but in terms of on sides, no spillage whatsoever. So that is a good thing to see in that. So, but yeah, sort of looking at how the placements in that. So we got small, small, and then a medium one. Or oh, sorry, me small one, and then two medium ones to compare it. Well, all says all small now, but. Yeah, this is, these are a lot bigger than that. Now, what's the difference between these two? So, if we look at this one here, see, not much. And then if we look at that one, it's the difference is that little top thing on the end. So, what I'm going to do is come up here. So, yeah, this one here has got this little green fear, little green top bit on the end. But yeah, besides from that, not much difference in that. Slot count to that is exactly the same. Oh, that's five. That's four slots. Our uh, prices are like five hundred pounds difference, and small one will hold, I say, about one hundred fifty or so thousand liters. That is three slots on console, and as you see, once again, done a decent job filling this up. So, yeah, I've got one hundred twenty-two thousand liters. But yeah, I filled up this bit here to the max almost. But yeah, still playroom at the front, so at least 150, 175,000 years you get in here. And once again, cover up, and yeah, once again. Even rear clipping what on the outside is a slight bit of the tarp in that, but apart from the tarp in that, I ain't too bad. It's better than having things leaking out on the side. But overall, good quality more on that. Does the job. 150. To about 375, 350,000 litres capacity. But yeah, a lot of work in that. And there's not much to say about that. So I'm going to leave that for now. And that is a small bunker silo by Camelos 0397. Good little quality bunker silo. Recommend it. Next. And now for the old sheds. This is by Agrogati. It is 12.4 megabytes to download. And slot counts are, so going to build mode, three slots, three slots, three slots, then four, 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 and then, yeah, last ones are three, three, and three slots, respectively. So, yeah, what we've got is a combination of old saw sheds. Some has got open back, as you can see here, or sorry, soap, loose soap, soap, and an open front. So then we got a kind of barn saw in that, so open that. Ooh, love the sound to that. But yeah, obviously so I feel like this ain't gonna have any lights in, it's just an old barn. But I gotta say, do love the weather textures in that. 
yeah, the weather on the woodpan then absolutely beautiful, absolutely realistic in that and I think something like this would be very good on Riverbend Springs. Obviously on the Asian map, maybe not so much in that, but hey, make it your own in that. So that is the larger ones. Well, sorry, well, it says medium in the bottom of the map, but I'll call it the larger ones of the lot. Then going downwards again. More barns that. So we've got another one here has got a side entrance. There we go. Then you've got one that's got a little drive through a bit here. So don't you sort bells and pallets here if you want. Again, get creative however you want. So there we go. We've got a side, little side barn over there. And once again, we've got a metal door rolled in some now. Absolutely nice. And then, yeah, now we've got these like, very small ones at the front, so this should be something whacked together. It's a very open concept. But anyway, so you can find this on the buildings, on the sheds, go down to the bottom. Prices for these are actually quite reasonable, to be fair, and that. So, so yeah, we've got four. Sorry, uh, let's get my notes here. So, this is three slots. That is three slots. And then, yeah, it's four, four. Four slots and then three, three, and three slots. So, yeah, overall two grand, three grand, upwards to about 20 grand. You're looking at obviously with these, no custom colors or anything like that. But for like, an old style American calling the barn style sheds, and that gotta say, these are absolutely nice to have. And yeah, two to 18 grand, can't really complain about the price, and that especially for what you get. And I said, for maps like Red Red Springs, old American maps and that, these will be very well suited. And yeah, so when you do place them, ignore the ground information. They do have or leave these kind of muddy dirt textures and that. So, again, one thing to note, but if you don't want to do that, so let's say grab this one. Just toggle free build mobile pressing triangle on PlayStation. And there you go. So, voice crack there, apologies. <laughs> But yeah, so as you see, yeah, it does have that dirt texture that. Obviously, you won't have the ground deformation just to note. Or that's your thing that is at the end of the day down to you. But anyway, that is the old sheds by Agrogati. Next. Now for the wood shelter set. This is by Caster at DS Agro Service. This is 3.84 megabits download. Stock count is free, comes down to one. And what we've got is a mixture of options of different whips of open vehicle shelters and that, or wood shelters and that. So something like this could be again, store bells, pallets, and all that other good stuff. So yeah, you can find this under build mode. These are going to be pretty pricey in that, so wood shelter tools that are going to cost you 48 grand, three slots comes down to one. Ignore that. Again, that's the thing I find it very annoying in build mode that. Which shelter freeze. Which shelter is four. And then, yeah, which shelter with a bulk box left. So, with these ones here. So, yeah, these are all the ones here. And by the looks of it, I had a guest. Seems like it's got a bunker solar, but nothing that indicates you like a fill type in that. So, I may get some chaff in that. Because, yeah. Nothing to suggest that is like a bunker side though. Yeah, but yeah, I'll quickly check this other one. So, because yeah, when you place it down, I'll quickly show it again. It will actually do a 90 degree snap out with the bunker side though. So, something like that. So, yeah, something like that is a step back because I was hoping in FS25 we were going to have these stupid snapping silos and that, bunker silos and that. But hopefully Giants can fix that later on down the road after they've done all the updates and that. But yeah, so then quick get some chaff now because Yeah, it says yeah, bulk box F and bulk box right, so fancy assumed storing grain in that. Yeah, it's not a bunker or so, so let's go and get some grain in that and see how this fills up in so, alright, yeah, I've got a little bit of oats here, quickly harvest a little bit, so 
Let's go see this, because yeah, I don't think it's a bug, so I didn't get anything that pops up in that, so... Yeah, I think it's just meant to be, in a way, like a green storage in that. Oh yeah, I can't remember how much we had, like 35,000 litres or so. Give or take, so let's see how much that fills. Let's go and move that forward, and... Yeah, overall not too bad. Dust on the side of that, but I don't think anything's actually come through in that, so... Overall, got to say collisions in that. Definitely a top job in that. Yeah, again, just that little dust bit on the ground textures, but... I think the whole ground texture thing is more to do with the game itself that needs updating rather than anything else. Especially if you go fertilize your fields or line your fields. You know what I'm about with the goose and textures and that. But yeah, a nice little small hole. That was, what was what? 35,000 litres? So 35, 70, 80, so about 150 to 200,000 litres. Give or take off capacity potentially. So something like that would be good for root crops and that. Depends on the size of your fields, but overall, nice quality mod. So anyway, that is the Woodshot set by Caster at DS Agro Service. Next. Now for the small stational workshop trailer, this is by Camelos0397. 4.35 megabytes to download. Slot count is 2 goes down to 1. Oh yeah, what we've got is a small workshop in that, so trigger that, repair if we want to, you can't repaint. And yeah, for a reason, it had a trophy popping up for that, so anyway, so yeah, small stational workshop trader, 10,000 to a purchase. And you can find this under buildings, under, no sorry, under tools. There we go, 10 grand, no customizable options in that. I've got to say, good quality more than that. Something that we had in FS22, being converted over to FS25. And especially where we've got the lack of workshops that in-game at the moment, like... If we have a look, yeah, i got this one here, part of the base game, that was part of FS22. But besides from that, nothing else, so... Good to see these kind of small workshops and that. And again, you can use this next to building, so for example... Let's just say, you know, you've got your sheds over here, Nat. You can't put it inside, so that is going to be, again, another problem I've noticed with the game. But yeah, you know, just put something like that. Okay, something like that doesn't quite suit it now, like very modern sheds and a very old kind of trailer, Nat. But the old sheds we looked at just now, which I have removed now just to clear things up. Yeah, something like that will go very well together, so just for example, Go over our sheds and that, go to the bottom. And I'm only showing this just so we can sort of see how it can be implemented. So, yeah, something like that is very good and a lot more suiting. You know, old shed, old workshop trailer does the job. But anyway, that is a small station or workshop trailer by Camelos0397. Next. Now for the small gravity fuel tank, this is by Red Phoenix. It is 6.68 megabytes to download, three slots on console. And as you can see, we've got two different kind of configurations. They've got a brand new model and a slightly older rustic kind of vibe model. So yeah, you can find this under buildings, containers. And yeah, so press R3 on PlayStation. And as you can see, you've got old and rusty. Doesn't change the price. And slot counts, as I already mentioned, I think. Three slots go down to one. And what it is, it's a fuel tank, so you can purchase fuel here. So, £1.65 for a thousand litres, slightly above current price in that. Miss FS22 prices, where it was like, F, what was it, £1.30 or so for a thousand litres? Or, no, sorry, £1.30 for a, for a litre of fuel. Now it's going up by 35p a litre in that. Obviously, so you can go from 1240 to 1 litre to 3.0. And so on. Now pull up into our tractor. There we go. Refuel. Press L3. And yeah, so it says, oh, could I feel like there was something different? Death maybe in that. Unless if I check containers now, it doesn't say here now what I can fill it with. And yeah, if I go to here, what I can buy that. Yeah, it's just diesel on that, so. 
Yeah, I didn't know Wakeem was an option on that. Maybe the truck driver accepts death in that diesel ex exhaust fluid, not too sure. But anyway, it's a nice little quality mod, highly recommend it. And it's good to see us back in the game once again. It is a mod that's converted over from FS32. But yeah, I gotta say, good job done. Love the old textures and that, like the old rustic kind of vibe. This I love, especially the old fuel can with the hose. Yeah, I gotta say, very good. Very good. yeah, very good indeed. But anyways, that is a small gravity fuel tank by Red Phoenix. Next. Now for the mineral cell silo, this is by MA7 Studio, 6.6 megabytes of ammo, two slots on console, and this is a placeable container where you can <coughs> purchase mineral feeds, seeds, fertilizer, and lime. So yeah, finds under build mode, under buildings, no configurations or whatsoever. So yeah, place it wherever. So three slots goes down to one, two and a half grand. And yeah, what I've got is a bunch of trainers because a little birdies told me that these Sonys can be a bit of a rip-off in terms of price and that, but that's actually going to test it. So fertilizer, a thousand liters, cost us how much? Five grand for fertilizer. Um, okay, game. Let's go to the line. And that is what? A uh, grand? Oh, yeah, so line not too bad. I'm um, seeing that. How much is that? 2,700. That is definitely more than a uh, base game. That. Mineral feeds. Four grand for a thousand years. Yeah, for a lot of that, that is stupidly expensive, so go to Big Bags, Lime, £450 for 2000 there, so being overcharged on that. C, that costs us, what, two and a half grand, so that is double the base game in that. And Fertilizer, that was, yeah, like five grand, was it, for a thousand years? Uh, yeah, look at that Big Bags in that, two grand for a thousand years, even that is expensive in that, that's i say more, perhaps more real life based. But yeah, nothing said in the mod description about it sort of being adjusted for inflation and that. But I'll say, yeah, two and a half grand for a container. At this rate, I was hopefully it's going to be free in that because, yeah, five grand for a thousand years of fertilizer in that. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely one I am not looking forward to having. It's perhaps one I will personally avoid. Just because of the price and that. Yes, you're, you're paying double the price for the. Convenience, I'm guessing in that, but bloody hell, especially if you go for tons and tons of fries on a large fill in that. That five grand per thousand years would add up very quickly in that. But anyway, that is the mineral cell silo by M A Seven Studio. Nice little quality more than that, but yeah, it is a bit pricey in that, and something I personally avoid down to you whether or not you want to use it. But anyways, on to our next mod. Now on to our placeable debris item. So first of all, we've got the debris for the farm. This is also by MA7 Studio. 9.93 megabytes to download. Slot count is three slots for each of these, and as you can see, little bits of debris in that. Not the most high. That's me knocking it over. Ignore that. But yeah, you know, got all debris in that old rubble, concrete foundations and that. All bits for a shed. Piping and all that are good stuff, including the what, what massive bathtub in that. Yeah, something like that looks like a bathtub in that. But anyway, he's gonna find this under. Let's go down here to the lamp in that or decorative items. Onto others, go down to the bottom, and there we go. As you can see, these are five pounds, five bucks, whatever euros you want to use. But yeah, five current seeds placed down. So yeah, overall not too bad, two slots and that, so it's a nice little touch out for like, your custom maps and that, for your farming that. Definitely something you're gonna make use of in that, and gotta say, like the detail in it, not too bad actually, not too shabby. Time marks and that, lovely jubbly. 
Well, yeah, it should have a good old Rob on that, and... Then, get a bit of cream on that. Overall, nice and quality mod. But anyway, so it's the Debris for the Farm by ME7 Studio. Now for the Concrete Ring Pack, this is by Weekend Farmers, Amarok 10, Baxter, and T4XS. This is 5.58 megabits download, and what we've got is a pack of Concrete Rings. It all just comes as one initially, so we have a look here on the buildings are the decorative. Hey, let's move across. So yeah, normally we've got the two meter one initially. But you can adjust it so from two, four, six, eight, and ten. And price is from two hundred quid to a grand, so overall not too bad a price. And something like this you get very creative with, so this could be like a flower patch and out flower pot area in that. Or, so, if I place the small one down, go to build moon at. And then, yep, yeah, select a tree. So something like that's actually not too bad. It's not clipping, so, yeah, nice little decorative item in that. Actually, I've got to tell you that, I do like that. As a little touch, as a little bit of a character in that, so if you're doing farm builds in that, that's going to be extremely useful, and I know I always say, and that, I know it may annoy some people, but that's just my, how I speak my West Country accent and all that other good stuff. But anyway, so yeah, my little distraction there. But yeah, the Concrete Ring Pack by Weekend Farmers, Amrock 10, Baxter, T4, XS. Yeah, definitely something I recommend. Something you can get very creative with flower pots and just like trees and that. And whatever you, you want, try not to avoid saying that and that. But anyways, on to our second to last model of the day. Now for the pack of decorative tiles. This is by MX7 Studio. 9.43 megabytes to download. In terms with slot count, it is 2 goes down to 1, and yep, what these are is just basically like concrete plates, something you can place down as like a foundation for a building, something a bit realistic in that. So for example, you can find these under buildings, sorry, under the lamp, under others, go down towards the end. As you see, these are 50 quid to purchase. So you got large flat ones and also you got small skinny ones. Different ones with different textures. So you got a concrete, something like a rock granite base foundation. And then, yeah, the smaller sizes available. So then, yeah, you're something like this. We have a shed. So let's say, yeah, get a shed. And actually, can we have put this on? Okay, once again, areas being restricted. That's something else going to be fixed. That is really annoying. Something like yeah, something like that in FS22. Not a problem in that, but this, oh uh, yeah. So that sort of ruins that kind of idea. But for something like this, you know, could be just as like a base plate for your farming at, like a staging area in that in the field potentially. Because, yeah, if you do, like, fancy, like, the textures we've got in-game, so... Go to our... Uh, constructive in that, so... Yeah, go across, painting... Do you have anything that kind of matches it? Yeah, not really. Got kind of rocking gravel in that. But, yeah, it just doesn't really match it, so... At the moment, until we get an update to the game that lets you place stuff over the top stuff in that... Yeah, this is just basically a base plate for the farming net. But anyway, so that is the decorative or pack of decorative tiles by MA7 Studio. Next. On to our final model of the day, and something small, something very typical now is the placeable hedges by Mon Association and Katsu. It is 3.01 megawatts download, costs £70, bucks, euros, shillings per segment. In terms of slot count, it is 2 goes down to 1. 
So yeah, you find this under buildings, or sorry, under build modes, under your decorative and that. Not sure what the name of it is. The lamppost. Or land lighting, whatever it is. Anyways, yeah, go down to the bottom on the fences, and there we go. So you can create any kind of hedgerows you want, custom ones. Get super creative in that. And I actually got to say, that is very good. In terms of collisions, yeah, there's obviously collisions and that. Overall, something like that is very good for decorating the farm, especially if you've got a small farm. You know, how little hedgerows behind these sheds and that. But yeah, I gotta say, actually, these are quite good, these are. You gotta say, yeah, the textures and that, not too bad, not too shabby indeed. But anyways, that is it for the mod today for the Wednesday, the 20th of November, 2024. And this is going to be coming out sometime early morning on Thursday, around about 9am or so, give or take. But yeah, so that is our first full day of, well, sorry, first mod drop off. A lot of banging mods now. Yep, some of them are okay, some of them not so much. But at the end of the day, I appreciate all the modders in the game that, all the mods that put the work in. And yeah, this is early days. Modders still don't have access to Giants Edge of 10 as of recording this. So the fact that mods are able to convert mods over without needing a new engine and also the new editor, and I get why I've spoken to a couple of modders and that, and i got to say, my appreciation for modders and that, what they do for the game, for the franchise in general, especially at the moment, whilst we're still waiting on for a game update, in terms of when that update is going to come out, if I had to guess, like with FS22 when that came out, it's going to be around in the month, so within the next week or so. If not, it's going to be the start of December. However, that's not a guarantee in that, but because the Giants go the way, you know, at the end, or towards Christmas and that, towards the end of the year. Yeah, I think they will have an update, and I know for a fact they will have an update, if I had to guess, if I had to bet on it. By the end of the day, Giants has said nothing official on it. At the moment, they are processing the update of all the bugs and fixes, so... If you experience any bugs, game crashes, like I have for my 100 hours of gameplay, then... Please report to Giants. Even if it's already been reported in that, just report it again so it becomes more of a known issue. And yeah, that's why we don't have any mods at the moment. So Giants are releasing mods when they can, but at the moment they are prioritising getting the game fixed before giving modders access to the new Giants editor and that, so they can convert mods so we can get maps and that. But anyways, yeah, enough ranting on, just thought I'd give an explanation of the current situation for mods and app maps and all that other good stuff. But anyways, as always, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.